The t-test is used to test the mean when population standard deviation sigma is unknown. To get to the t-test on the TI calculator, go to stat, over to test, and then scroll down to t-test. Now we have to make sure we select data or statistics based on our problem. Our problem has summary statistics, so we have selected stats. If you are given data values, select data and then enter in the data under stat edit. The local hardware store claims their screws have a length of two inches. This is the hypothesized population mean mu naught. A random sample of 100 screws found a sample mean of 2.06 inches and a standard deviation of 0.3 inches. Here we have the sample mean, 2.06, and the sample standard deviation, 0.3. It's important to note that this is the sample standard deviation that came from 100 screws and is not the population standard deviation, which is unknown in this problem. Next, we have the sample size of 100. Finally, we have to make sure to select the correct alternative hypothesis. In this problem, we want to see if there is evidence to suggest that the two inch screws are longer than they claim. So we will test to see if the true mean is greater than the hypothesized mean of two. We entered in two previously, so is there evidence to suggest the true mean is greater than two? Let's go ahead and click draw to see our results. The calculator will draw for us a T distribution. In this problem, we are getting a T distribution with 99 degrees of freedom. The T statistic will show us our standardized results, and the p-value will show us the probability of our results or results more extreme happening due to random chance variation given the null is true. In this problem, we can reject the null at an alpha of 0.05 to say that there is evidence for the alternative that the true mean of length of screws is greater than two inches.